French Riviera has been my inspiration for so many years and it's an amazing place for different smells. I love standing under a fig tree, I love the smell of dried pine trees mixed with a bit of a salty breeze. And the mild climate of the French Riviera makes it a floral paradise. We have mimosas blooming at the end of January, we have orange blossom and different citruses blooming in February and March. And when spring comes, it's just full of different blooming scents. But I think when people hear Riviera, especially Côte d'Azur and French Riviera, they think about Festival de Cannes, they think about yachts. So they're searching for a smell that is associated with looks and chic and rich lifestyle. So today we're going to speak about different kinds of Riviera perfumes. I think one of the most common themes representing Mediterranean vacations and Riviera as well is citrus. When it comes to citrus perfumes, I am very difficult to impress. And it's not that I don't like them, I find them appealing, but none of the citrus perfumes ever had that wow effect on me to the point that I would like to purchase a bottle. And there's one perfume that I recently tried and I absolutely did not expect to like it. And this one is called Symphony by Louis Vuitton. And the reason I like it is because it does not smell just like a mix of lemon, grapefruit and ginger to me. It smells like carambola. I don't know if you know that fruit. It is very crunchy, acid like citrus, but it has a nice tropical vibe. So this is really the note that I'm getting in here. The amazing part about this fragrance is that it's heat tolerant. I especially see wearing it to a beach party during the day when you know it's going to be hot and everybody's going to be sweating and you need something refreshing. It is not offensive, but it has a very good level of intensity that allows you to impress people and surprisingly it has really good longevity. So when you show up at that party, you're gonna radiate that uh, wonderful citrusy smell that is not a typical citrus and I think everybody would wish to know what you're wearing. Many brands create their fragrances evolving around lemons and bergamot. But I don't think that any citrus can represent French Riviera. French Riviera deserves something more sophisticated, something that really screams luxury. And I found all that in a perfume by the Italian brand Bulgari. This is a collection called Allegra, and the fragrance is called Riva Soler. For me, the complexity of this fragrance is beyond the stated notes, which are bergamot and neroli. What I get in here is not just the smell of waves with a tiny, tiny hint of salt, but also a lot of sunshine. I don't even know from where it's coming. And there is a light floral breeze brought to you by the wind. And again, it is so light that you cannot even identify what these flowers are. Mysteriousness of the notes is one part that I really enjoy in here. At the same time, I find this fragrance kind of simple. It's like white color that is simple and chic at the same time. And people of the French Riviera, especially people on the yachts, they really like wearing white. Most of the Bulgari fragrances have the level of intensity that is below the one that I usually like. But in summertime, I don't like fragrances that are very intense because they can be suffocating. This one is just perfect really for a hot summer day. It's so airy and breezy. It really reminds me of a nice boat ride on the Mediterranean. Christian Dior also has its version of the French Riviera and this one is called Eden Rock. To put you in the context, Eden Rock is a very chic hotel, one of the most expensive ones of the French Riviera, and it's an after-party place of the Cannes Festival. And the location of the place is absolutely amazing. Cap d'Antibes is a pine tree forest, and you have a beautiful patio overlooking the sea. People chill around, take a little swim, sip their expensive cocktails. And Eden Rock is really capturing all the smells of that place. You are supposed to have a salty sea breeze, pine tree forest, and a sunshine represented by citruses, and that's what you get in here. From the very beginning, I get a lemon sprinkled with salt. Give me my tequila, baby. But that's not a place where people drink tequila, that's a place of champagne. 
Think of champagne in terms of minerality. There's a little mineral element in champagne, and that's the kind of mineral element you get in this fragrance, not more than that. The same with coconut lotion. You don't get a lot of it, you just get a little bit of a breeze of your neighbor who's using that coconut lotion. You won't really get the coconut. To be honest, I would not even call it chic, and I don't think anyone would call it chic if there was not the name of Christian Dior on the package. It's very simple, easy, breezy kind of fragrance. I can see some people like it, and I see some people don't. I personally think there's too much salt in here. When it's very hot on the French Riviera, your skin is already kind of salty, and there is no need to add extra salt. And overall, I'm very picky with salty fragrances, but if you are a fan, check out Eden Rock, because this is a salty French Riviera. One of my favorite French brands, Ex Nihilo, has two fragrances dedicated to the French Riviera. And the first one that they came up with is called Lost in Paradise. I really understand from where that inspiration is coming from, and it's peonies spiced up with pink pepper. The only thing about this particular fragrance is I don't like the musk in here. It's kind of too sharp and scratches my nose. Later, Ex Nihilo came up with a flanker for Lost in Paradise, and they called it In Paradise Riviera. This one is a bit softer, and the combination of peonies and lychee and musk that was kind of sharp was replaced by peonies that are diluted with tuberose. The sharpness of musk was taken down a notch, and together with it, the intensity of the fragrance generally was taken down, which I think makes it more likable for the crowds. The only disadvantage is that they don't have any samples and miniatures. They only have 100 ml bottles, so you really have to be in love with it to purchase it. I just love how Ex Nihilo does their peonies. Whether they are pink peonies or white peonies, they are always so amazingly done. And I'm not even disturbed by the note of Pitalia by Ex Nihilo, which is a synthetic floral accord that is somewhere between peonies and roses. But their Riviera fragrances are not my favorites, actually. My two favorites of the brand are Explicite and Fleur Narcotique. Both of them, they have peonies, but unfortunately, both of them are too intense to be wearing during the summertime on the French Riviera. So I either wear them outside at night when it's a bit fresher, like uh, on the terrace by the sea, or I wear them during colder times of the year. While it does make sense to associate peonies and pitalia with the floral paradise of the French Riviera, you would probably think that lychee is a foreign note in here. Lychee indeed is a tropical fruit that does not belong to the European continent, but I like the combination of peonies and lychee together, because lychee just lifts up peonies and makes this note more sensual and sexy and sophisticated. But if I don't want the intensity of Ex Nihilo, yet I want that combination of lychee and peonies, I would go for another fragrance that is by Louis Vuitton, and it's called Attrape Rêve, Catching Dreams. Lychee and peonies are again in the center of this fragrance, but this one is much more light. It's really airy, and despite that this is supposed to be a shipper fragrance, the haters of roses and patchouli would not be disturbed by these notes, because they are not meant as front runners that don't really contribute to the character of this perfume. They really try to hold the structure. And unfortunately, they don't do a very good job holding the structure because this fragrance is acting more like musky floral fragrances that are very light, uh, pleasant, but they evaporate very quickly. So despite the price, this is a kind of perfume that you will have to reapply frequently if you want to continue radiating those peonies and lychee. There are two perfume brands that decided to dedicate a separate collection to the French Riviera. And these are BDK Parfums, and Atelier des Ors. Unfortunately, I will not be speaking about these fragrances in this video because the two brands, they are lined up for the full review, but sign up to my channel so you get an update when these reviews come out.